nestled amongst the whispering peaks of the Himalayas, where the air thins with altitude and prayer flags dance in the wind, lies the serene Tashi Chodzong Monastery. Here, a young boy named Tenzin, with a heart full of curiosity and eyes sparkling with adventure, embarked on a journey that would not only challenge his mind, but also open his ears to a symphony unlike any other. Tenzin, a sprightly ten-year-old, had just arrived at Tashi Chodzong. Unlike the bustling life he left behind in his village, the monastery was a world of hushed whispers, rhythmic chanting, and the gentle clinking of prayer beads. He eagerly joined the other student monks, rising before the first rays of dawn for prayers, meticulously sweeping the dusty courtyards and diligently studying ancient scriptures under the watchful eyes of the elder monks. One crisp morning, as the first tendrils of sunlight painted the mountain peaks with gold, Tenzin knelt for meditation. Unlike the other monks who seemed to find solace in the stillness, Tenzin's mind buzzed with a persistent question. He peeked out the window, his gaze drawn to the majestic peaks that surrounded the monastery. Why are the mountains so quiet, he thought. Don't they have stories to tell, songs to sing? The question gnawed at him throughout the day. During a break from his studies, he approached Kenpo Tenzin, his kind and wise teacher. Master, Tenzin began, his voice barely a whisper. Why is there no sound in the mountains? Can't they talk? Kenpo. Tenzin chuckled, the sound like warm stones tumbling in a mountain stream. His eyes crinkled at the corners from years of laughter and wisdom, crinkled further. The mountains, young Tenzin, he said, speak not with words but with silence. It is a language far deeper, one you haven't learned yet. Intrigued by his teacher's cryptic words, Tenzin spent his days seeking the mountain's voice. He spent hours perched on rocky outcrops, his back against the cold stone, eyes closed, straining to hear something, anything, beyond the whisper of the wind. Yet all he found was a profound, all-encompassing silence. Frustration gnawed at him. He returned to Kenpo Tenzin, his face etched with disappointment. Master, I've tried everything, but I still can't hear anything. Kenpo Tenzin smiled gently and placed a hand on Tenzin's shoulder. Patience, young one, he said. The mountains don't reveal their secrets to those who are impatient. They speak to those who listen with their heart, not just their ears. The next day, Kenpo Tenzin led Tenzin up a winding path towards a secluded meadow nestled between towering peaks. The air grew crisp as they ascended, and the only sounds were the crunch of their footsteps on the rocky ground and the occasional chirp of a high-altitude bird. Reaching the meadow, Kenpo Tenzin instructed Tenzin to sit beneath a gnarled juniper tree, its branches twisted by centuries of wind. As the sun began to peek over the horizon, painting the snow-capped peaks with a soft rose hue, Kenpo Tenzin spoke. Close your eyes, Tenzin, he said, his voice calm and soothing. Let go of your thoughts, your worries, your expectations. Simply be present. Feel the cool air on your skin, the ground beneath you. Be one with the mountain. Tenzin closed his eyes, his breathing slowing with each passing moment. He focused on the sensations around him, the coolness of the air against his skin, the firmness of the earth beneath him. Slowly, the world around him seemed to fade away. Suddenly, a faint melody, carried by the gentlest of breezes, brushed against his soul. It wasn't a sound like those he was used to. No instruments, no voices. It was a feeling, a sense of calm, of strength, of ancient wisdom emanating from the very heart of the mountain itself. It resonated within him, filling him with a peace he had never known. Tenzin's eyes fluttered open, tears glistening on his cheeks. A wave of emotions washed over him. Wonder, awe, and a profound sense of connection. He looked at Kenpo Tenzin, a radiant smile breaking across his face. Do you hear it now, Tenzin? Kenpo Tenzin asked softly. Tenzin could only nod, speechless. It wasn't the kind of sound he expected, but it was there. A beautiful symphony woven from the very silence of the mountains. It spoke of resilience, of the unwavering spirit of nature, of the cycle of life and death that echoed throughout the ages. From that day on, Tenzin became a regular visitor to the secluded meadow. Each visit brought him closer to understanding the language of the mountains. He learned to listen not just with his ears, 
but with his heart and his entire being. The silence, once a source of frustration, became a source of profound wisdom. As the years passed, Tenzin grew into a young man, his face no longer that of a curious boy, but one etched with serenity and inner peace. He continued his studies, excelling not just in scriptures, but also in the art of meditation. He became known as the listener, the one who could hear the mountains sing. One particularly harsh winter, a ferocious blizzard swept through the Himalayas, isolating the monastery from the outside world. Supplies dwindled, and fear gripped the hearts of the monks. The young monks especially grew restless. One evening, as the storm raged outside, Tenzin addressed the gathered monks. Though the winds howl and the snow falls thick, he said, his voice calm and steady. The mountains still sing. They sing of resilience, of the cycle of nature, of the promise of spring's return. He then closed his eyes and began to meditate. The room fell silent, and the only sound was the steady rhythm of his breath. Slowly, a sense of peace settled over the room, replacing the fear and anxiety. The other monks followed his lead, closing their eyes and focusing on the inner stillness. In that moment, amidst the howling wind and the deafening silence of the storm. The young monks, guided by Tenzin, heard the mountains sing the sound of silence. The silent song spoke of hope, of perseverance, and the unwavering spirit that resided within them all. Tenzin, the boy who heard the mountains sing, became a beacon of hope and wisdom within the monastery walls. He taught his fellow monks that true strength doesn't lie in conquering the external world, but in finding peace and resilience within the quiet chambers of one's own heart. The mountains, forever silent yet full of wisdom, continued to be their teacher, their guide, and their source of inspiration. Have you ever found yourself inspired by the beauty and serenity of nature? Share your stories in the comments below. Let's create a community where we can learn from each other and discover the magic that surrounds us. For more inspiring stories, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon.